In the 5th century BC, the Persian Empire, under King Darius, was a formidable force in the Middle East and Asia. In 490 BC, they attempted to conquer Greece, but were repelled at Marathon. Undeterred, Darius's son, Xerxes, initiated another massive invasion in 480 BC. Greece, a land of independent city-states, was ill-prepared for this onslaught. The geographical barriers among these city-states hindered unified action. However, the imminent threat from Persia forced them to unite. Themistocles, an Athenian leader, suggested halting the Persian advance at Thermopylae to buy time for Greek mobilization. King Leonidas of Sparta led 7,000 men, including the formidable 300 Spartans, to Thermopylae. These Spartans, trained since childhood, were warriors of unmatched skill and endurance. They lived austere lives to build resilience. Facing a Persian army of up to 300,000, they fortified Thermopylae, turning its narrow pass into an advantage. Leonidas, aware of the likely outcome, chose warriors with living heirs. Xerxes' initial assaults were futile. The Greeks' Phocian wall and combat prowess decimated the Persian forces. The Spartans, at the front line, showcased extraordinary valor. Xerxes' elite immortals, too, were repelled. However, Ephialtes, a local with a grudge against the Greeks, betrayed them, revealing a path to the Persians to flank the Greeks. Leonidas, informed of this betrayal, offered his allies a chance to retreat. About 2,000, including the 300 Spartans, chose to stay, facilitating the escape of others. The final confrontation saw the Greeks fighting valiantly, but ultimately succumbing to the Persian onslaught. Despite this, the delay caused by the Greeks' resistance at Thermopylae allowed other Greek states to fortify, leading to Persian defeats at Salamis and Plataea. The saga of Thermopylae, epitomized by Leonidas and his Spartans' heroic stand, remains an enduring tale of courage against insurmountable odds.